Hi, this is Ron McTuber playing Hunter Call of Wild on PC today on Yukon Valley after a diamond caribou or a diamond moose. We're going to hunt for both of them and see if we get any luck along the way. This week we have had some massive teasers for what could be coming next for new content. It was a picture show and it looked like a small ibex. Some people are saying it's a Spanish ibex. I'm not an ibex specialist. If you are, drop in the comments why it's a Spanish uh, ibex which was shown it looked like a small one uh, maybe with um, true rats or true horns they're probably going to call it if it's got horns that's what you call it wouldn't it uh, i don't know but what we do know is there was some uh, achievements on steam the other week and they had spanish wording in now spanish wording in the achievements for new ones coming also a spanish ibex maybe we've got a spanish reserve coming we do get new reserves around uh, December. Parque Fernando was dropped last December. At the start of December to mid-December, I think it was. Um, so it looks like we might be getting a new reserve along with new animals. Or well, we'll definitely know soon because they normally do one tease and then they just build it up until you get the big finale of what's happening. This is where we're hunting today. If you think it's a new reserve, drop in the comments where it's going to be. Uh, I think it's going to be Spain, Mexico, maybe somewhere like that. I can't wait to see what's going to happen. Ibex is one of my favourite species in the Hunter Classic. I used to hunt them for many hundreds of hours, maybe a thousand hours, just hunting Ibex. So really happy that that's happening. If you are from Spain and you know about the hunting in that area, uh, or if you just know about Spain in general and what they hunt there, drop in the comments what kind of animals they do hunt. Is it birds? Uh, what kind of species? Anything. Like I say, drop in the comments. I'd like to know about it. I do read the comments and I often comment and reply back to what anyone says. Uh, I do like to know what you're thinking, doing. Like I say, I follow all the Hunter social medias. I comment often on the Hunter Facebooks, uh, the Hunter Twitter and the forums i do like to take part and just see what everyone's doing it is like i say it's a big thing it, it adds a lot to the game because like i say someone might say something about this that and you just join in with it and it brings a lot more fun than just doing it on yourself if you're not a member already jump on the hunter discord a lot of us chat on there for both the hunter classic and the hunter call of wild uh doing tips and where people are with the trophy lodges what they're after it all adds this area is very good for caribou um, there's about three or four lakes in this area. we're going to check this one first and hopefully there's a good uh, caribou about what's that one and it's absolutely tiny <laughs> it is a drink zone try different times around these areas that's a four it looks quite big for a four as well it's got the seven millimeter there it goes that looks quite a nice one could have done with something better, but we'll take that. Like I say, we're after caribou and a moose, so whichever comes will be good. I'm also doing, in the next video, I'm trying to do the multi-mount system. And I'm trying to do the alpha wolf one as well. So I'm looking for my diamond uh, wolf. I got very close with legendary. It was only a few points under, but not quite in my first video on the new Sasiki Safari Trophy Lodge. So we do need that, and like I say, I want to do the multi-mount uh, called Alpha Wolf. We've got to get a diamond uh, wolf and two female wolves. So what I'm going to try and do is get a diamond wolf for the main bit, uh, a rare one uh, for one of the other females and possibly another rare for the other female. be uh, quite a challenge but we're going to try and get that. I've got a good place up near the Scorch Forest and you do get a lot of wolves there. Time plays a big uh, matter in how you get it that's quite a big four look 914 let's have a look why is 914 that's why I look if you look on the left that's really long that's close to like diamond look how that scoops down to his nose and the big spade but on the right one he hasn't got that I reckon if uh, both was the same there that probably would have been close to a diamond but that's why I look it's really short on the right hand side even though it's quite a nice rack. Look, you can see the difference there, I'll show you now. So if that had gone all the way down, and the other one would have been a bit thicker on the left, at the top, I think we'd have had a diamond. So that's quite a nice gold for a four. So that was a big gold. Like I say, you can see from that side shot, it was really short on the right side. 
So quite a nice gold adds to the bank. What are you doing there? <laughs> I don't know why. But this one's walked down the hill and guess what? Ron Skint. <laughs> I've got no money in the bank. So that adds to uh, my multi-man um, trophy fund which is absolutely skinny. I had about 100,000 in cash but now I've got about three or 4,000. So every animal is going to count. I need to go on one of those little slaughter phases and uh, kill loads of animals just to build it up because look 4,000 I'm struggling to taxi demise animals at the minute what we're going to do is we're going to fast travel up here check this area 8 o'clock around these ponds is very good for caribou any caribou area there'll be around water about 8 that is where I'm going to do the alpha wolf um, hunting when we go for that that'll be the next video uh, but the scorched forest really good for wolves you can do it early in the morning about 8 or go about two o'clock and it'll be just uh, underneath that outpost but we'll go about that and um, into more detail when we're doing that in the next video right let's move down here this is a very good caribou spot There's some ponds in front of me and hopefully we'll find something nice now we was looking for caribou and I checked all around and there wasn't really anything worth shooting but what I have found is right in front of me a very big moose there he is when it lets me uh, spot him and he is a level five moose but the thing that's a bit different with this one is normally the level fives have got big palms a lot of the time on the front of uh, the main palms right at the front uh, they look like hands reached out but this one hasn't actually it's, it's just got really long big paddles so quite interesting if we get this to see what it actually scores I'm hoping it is a diamond because like I said that's what we're after. We're after diamond moose or a diamond caribou. Uh, we haven't got one for Sasiki Safari Lodge yet. So it will be a good addition. I have got a really big one from Leighton Lakes. But I haven't got a diamond moose from Yukon Valley yet. So it will be a first for both of them. Now we're just going to cycle around to the right. Because I do like to shoot animals and try and get a double lung. Because you seem to get better reg. Uh, hit reg like that. And hit boxes. Sometimes shooting front on is very risky, but if you've got that shot to take, then you have to take that. But if you can, try and take a side, a broadside shot. You seem to get better results. That's what I've found. It might not be the same for everyone. Drop in the comments how you like to shoot animals. I know a lot of people like to shoot for brains, but brains, again, can be risky. And if you mess it up, it's ruined. <laughs> Your trophy's gone. Uh, so I think the better shot is to take the side on shots. We have got the 7mm and we have got the 338. So which do I use? Um, I'll probably just use a 338. What do you use when you're moose hunting? Drop the gun in the comments you use. I would like to hear what you use and why. Look, see what I mean? It's really long. There's no palms on the front. So it'll be interesting to see what this scores. I haven't shot a level 5 one like this. I've shot quite a few level 5s. Here it goes right in the crease that's where you want it after the front leg sort of like the armpit i can't see that running far <laughs> crashes into the bull rushes right let's go over and collect it i'm not bothered about the females we could do with a cash to be honest but i just want to see if this makes a diamond because like i say it's got really big paddles long ones as well but no palms on the front and since the true rack moose were added like I say, uh, that's how you knew normally the level 5s because of those palms. So let's, uh, the extra ones at the front. Let's collect this. Is it going to be a diamond? Fingers crossed. It is a diamond. 956, uh, 597 kilos, common, level 5, right lung, left lung, perfect shot. Very happy with that. Mission achieved for today. <laughs> it's nothing like adding a new trophy to Sasiki Safari Lodge. I'm really happy about that. But look at the right one, look at the left one. The left one's a bit more bending to the left. The right one's more symmetrical, going straight up. You can see the difference there, left 13, right 10. More on the right. Sometimes it's quite hard to see. I wish the, just above the moose's head, where it says true score and hip for information, I wish that could be extended so you could see more of the antler. Because when they're drinking or eating, often you can... Uh, uh, that gets in the way and you can't quite see the antlers where you would like to see them so if you're watching devs <laughs> i would like you to tweak that but he's a great moose i am very happy with that if you want to see me hunt any uh 
a specific animal or typical reserve drop that in the comments i'll try and make that happen i do look at what you comment on and what people say i oh, go hunt this or do that and like i say if i can come up with a theme to do it i will do it and try and help people out i do make videos to try and help people out as well as just having fun myself because it is very useful that like the hunting uh, the tent one i did the other day uh, people was asking how to do it we had to get on the island so i made that just for that reason alone and i will do it like i say if someone really needs to do it so we've got quite a few moose in here already a piebald and albino now we're going to add a diamond as you can see Sasiki safari trophy lodge is coming together really nice here's our last video we did the huddle whitetail multi trophy man diamond red dip now this room, I don't really want to add the moose, the diamond moose, because it's all basically white animals, isn't it? So it'll look a bit odd. But then again, we've got a melanistic elk in the corner. But I'm going to remove him once I get some more albinos or leucistics to go in that room. We could add it. Mm, no, we can't add him on that, can we? Uh, what we'll do is we'll put him down this room here. We haven't got anything in here. I did have some lions in here in a multi-trophy room, but I've removed them because they're not high enough scoring yet. Uh, I demonstrated how it worked. So well, this is where we're going to have our diamond moose. So let's select him. Where is he? There we go. 956. Place trophy. So we'll rotate him round. Left and right on your keyboard. That turns him round. And we'll pick our pose. So I really enjoyed that. We've been after either a diamond trophy moose from Yukon Valley. For Sasiki Safari Lodge. Or a diamond caribou. And we've got our diamond uh, true rex moose and i'm really happy with it look there he is i'm ron mctube please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channels i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching bye bye